Today I share how to cook the almighty Ofo Nobu. This soup is so delicious, especially when you pair it with Fofo. I hope this makes it to your Christmas table. Everyone will love it. So keep watching, let's begin. First, I'm going to prepare the bitter leaf. It's been plucked already. Next, I'm going to sun dry this for an hour and a half or let it sit on your kitchen counter for a few days. You want it to wilt and not dry completely. Otherwise, it's going to shatter. Now, once it is wilted, you want to add some salt, add water and wash until it is no longer very bitter. Usually, I can tell when a bitter leaf is no longer bitter. The foamy water begins to turn white. Alright, so for the cocoa yam, this was the best I could find. I know the red slim ones is normally used to cook Igbo soups. But where I live, this is what I have. I'm going to cook that, then go in with the washed meat, using goat meat, into a pot. Add your thoroughly washed um, stockfish head. Add your pomo. This was a bit tough, so I added it now. Add your pomo, also known as cow skin. I'm going to go in with a bit of seasoning, salt, and some Cameroon pepper. Stir this well to combine. Cover and let it steam cook for 15 minutes without adding water. Today's special hug is for Delight watching from Nigeria. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. 15 minutes later, stir, add water and cook for another 20 minutes. I'm using milk goods and it doesn't take time to cook. At this point, I check on the cocoa yam. Once you can poke a fork through it easily like this, you know it is cooked. So I'm going to peel it, place in a blender and blend until it is very smooth. You can also pound this using a mortar. And doing this while it is still a bit warm helps to get it smoother faster. Twenty minutes later, I'm going to check on the meat. Look at that, it is almost cooked. So now I'll go in with the rest of the protein I'm using and you guessed right, snail. It's been washed, now add that. Go in with your thoroughly washed fish. I soaked this fish with warm water and washed it very well. So I'm going to adjust with some seasoning. You can also add salt. Add a bit more water and let this cook for 10 minutes. Ten minutes later, I'm going to add some more water. This time, I'm going to add enough water to cook this soup. Depending on the amount of soup you're making, add water. So I'm going to now go in with the blended cocoa yam. Add some ground crayfish, a bit more pepper. I like it to be a bit spicy. Skip it if you don't want that. Next, I'm going to add some ogilisi. This right here is also known as fermented locust beans. And it is the star of this soup. Without this, there is no ofonubu. So add a good amount and then go in with some palm oil. Once you add the palm oil, I'm going to cover this and let this come back to a boil. You don't want to add a bitter leaf when this is not boiling, okay? So add the palm oil, cover and let it begin to boil till the cocoyam is completely dissolved. Now, as you cook, you want to go in and check. Once you think you've achieved your desired thickness, you can remove the remaining cocoa yam. Five to seven minutes later, look at that. Oh my God, the aroma here was nose blinding. Give this a good mix. At this point, you can now go in with the bitter leaf. You can see the consistency. It is not so thick. Mind you, by the time this cools down, it is going to thicken up even more. So go in with the bitter leaf, stir everything well to combine and let it simmer together for another three to five minutes. Five minutes later, look at our soup, looking delicious. The aroma was nose blinding and it tasted so delicious, you guys. I hope you get to try this out. Let me know what is the best pair for this soup. Pounded yam, fufu, gari. Share your thoughts with me in the comment section. I had this with some pounded yam, but trust me, my best fufu for this is actually apu. But 
and manage by Nediam today. Thank you so much for watching. Share your pictures with me on Instagram at joyfulcook underscore and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.